few few players really have the dedication, I think, to play for that long with Daredevil anyway. But the the mask is something pretty amazing. I, it actually has, I think, at least a twenty percent chance to spawn ninjas that uh, right. right alongside you. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Ninjas. Let's see if I can find the specs, but uh, if you if you find it on the forums, it's pretty cool. It's actually better than his ultimate attack. I think it generates more damage. Uh, well, I would I would like to see ninjas coming in. <laughs> that, that sounds awesome. Right. Yeah, I, I, really I wish I had. Uh, okay, my mumble crash. I will just quickly restart it. So yeah. Um, any questions? I take more questions from the chat. So I'm currently here with Scotto, which is um, a great a great database on on everything Daredevil. So uh, if you have any Daredevil questions, let me know. Hey, I'm back. My mumble crash. It happens sometimes. So I'm back. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um. So yeah, I think we covered. We didn't cover everything yet, but we covered the the bottom row. Um, yeah, just yeah. As I keep going with gloves and things, uh, the most important things I look for are just health and health regeneration. Um, that's available on gloves as well as body suits. Going on to you know boots and masks, I think those share the same affixes. So I look for health, and then uh, additional ranks to opening lunge or club throw. Yeah, so you don't really go for either crit or or like dodge on your other gear. It's it's mostly. I don't look for uh, for dodge on it just because his dodge is already so high, and adding more to it, yeah. you just start to see those diminishing returns. I do look for crit. I think you can get crit on the uh, the mask, and so yeah. right now I've got a mask with health, crit, and damage on critical hit, as well as additional ranks in club strike. Yeah, that's that sounds like a perfect role. Is that a cosmic or not? No, most of what I found have been blues that I've upgraded or purples that I plan to upgrade to cosmics. Once I find that, you know, perfect item, because finding a perfect cosmic has seemed yeah. nearly impossible. Yeah, that's quite tough. It's going to take you a lot of rerolls on your, um, <laughs> a lot of rerolls on your, uh, what is unstable molecules if you ever want to. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Uh, then artifact-wise, once you get to level forty-four, the Pym shrinking serum is pretty much a necessity. Just because you gain the 67 spirit when you dodge, uh, you yeah. also gain an additional dodge rating and health and move speed. It's a pretty awesome artifact. Yeah, totally I'm sure you have that one on someone. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a must on a lot of your heroes um, from level 44. Yeah, definitely. So the game changes entirely after level 44 um, with that artifact. Yeah, and uh, the what other... uh, do you use in the other one? Uh, I actually use an advanced super soldier serum because it gives me more spirit, spirit regeneration, health regeneration, and health. Yeah. So my my current health pool, I'm at fifteen thousand health. <laughs> That's nice. So it but... it helps because he can take multiple hits. You know, I I don't get one shotted yeah. by a boss. Yeah, that's gonna make every hero playable, I guess, with 15k. Yeah. <laughs> and then his regen is around 14k, so he's he's doing pretty good. Oh, that's yeah, that's really good. Um, so uh, do you use? Have you do you already have you grinded for the legendary marks? And do you think they're worth it? And if they're worth it, which one would you actually use? You know, actually, I I haven't been uh, grinding for those. I haven't looked into them too much. I was waiting for more information to come out about them, and uh, and I haven't searched for it because. A lot of people were concerned with the um, the percentages or the um, uh, amounts that would be applied, I yeah. think, to that artifact, and if it would be valuable. Yeah, so I haven't um, looked it up. Yeah, and then there is also the rumor that, or at least they said that the Odin Vault, which is going to be the reward from the raids, or you can only go there if you raid, or yeah, the specifics are not yet given, but at least they say that you could buy stuff there with Odin marks as well. Um, yeah. So, so I'm, I'm a bit I'm a bit hesitant as well to use them, even though I don't even have 100. I think, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know how many I have. I maybe have 20 or so, just because I I haven't focused on those tasks. The the ones for my level are pretty much just going back to super heroic uh, castle doom and fighting the same things over and over again. It it switches between midtown and doom. Yeah. Okay, so that's covered. That. Um, do you think there's other artifacts valuable? 
Uh, for Daredevil? Yeah. Yeah, I keep a couple in his page. Let me take a look here at what I have saved. You know, besides that, you know, the Edge of Infinity. I, I haven't managed to get a Hand of Doom to replace it, but the Edge of Infinity is still very nice to have. Uh, the Fearsome Fist used to be a, a staple that everyone would use. Yeah. Just for the, you know, additional crit rating for two seconds. And, you know, it's it's got health regeneration now, which is very nice. One thing I liked for a little bit was the uh, Super Heroic Yukio's Charm. Yeah. Because uh, mine adds 500 damage rating to melee powers and then also uh, spirit regeneration. Or not spirit, uh, health. Yeah. Which fit into my build and worked out pretty nicely. So those yeah. are the ones I keep. Cool. Then the medallion lost uh, the last part. Yeah, and I keep stacking, you know, I use a Sabertooth Medallion. Uh, I keep stacking hit points, regeneration. So I've got one with, uh, you know, more than 1,000 health and then more than 3,000 regeneration. And I, I find that it, it makes a difference. You can see it. Yeah, I have a, a teleporting artifact. So when I slot that, you can see that my, my hit points come back fairly quickly. And it allows me to face tank some bosses. Yeah, that looks good. Um... We could actually, I was thinking, we could go to Midtown. We could, might as well go to a T4 terminal while we're at it. So you can show sure. us uh, your fight against the boss. Um, so for the chat, I'm still here with Scotto, who knows a lot about Daredevil and is its main character. He plays a lot. So if you have any questions, uh, do not do not hesitate. Or you might regret it later. Okay, I got a question for Ginger Snap Cookies who says, "Is Daredevil any fun?" But um, I think we covered that already. He can be, you know, he's different than you'd expect. But the fact that he has a nice movement power, I think, in the club throw, I, I find him fun to play, especially with enough health. Uh, when dodge was worse and you would just get one shotted, you know, it's it's not a lot of fun. But he's a challenging character, and you have to keep your eye on his, you know, health bar, which is nice. But he he works pretty well. Okay, so um, if, uh, if you think about the rework, what, what are like the things that you would like to see changed? Or uh, there are a couple, a couple of abilities that I'd like to see maybe stolen from some other characters. You know, I really like Black Panther's Savage Strike. Um, trying to think of some of the others off the top of my head. You know, if if Knockdown ever worked, I, I think he could use a leg sweep perhaps to to take characters down. That would work well with Triple Strike. He's got a lot of room for improvement, in my opinion. He's not one of the best characters, but he is a starter hero. So I hope that they do improve him so that players who start out as him enjoy the game. Yeah. And and what what would what would bring him to be more Daredevil like? Do you think that's like leaping around more, or is that like uh, more more melee options, or I th probably the melee options, and I think some, some better movement powers. You know, people rarely invest in a movement power, but if there was one that was viable, I think that would that would be helpful. Yeah, and the cool thing about that is that you can also, that opens up a lot of different artifacts options as well. For example, the, uh, and medallion options, the ele Electro one. Oh, not the Electro, um, uh, Lady Deathstrike one, I think, gives you health no, back? Uh, Electra does. Oh, okay. And that's, that's pretty nice. It's got a 1.5 second cooldown. But, uh, yeah, it is a good one. I actually use that on my Black Panther. Yeah, so while we smash this, uh, these guys, um, what are the other heroes that you play? Uh, the other ones I've gotten above 50 are Black Panther, Colossus, and Captain America. So I, I play with the worst heroes that exist in the game. <laughs> yeah, apparently you do. <laughs> Well, one part yeah. of the fun there is, though, is that to make them work as well. Because in the end, with the current animation, you can make a lot of things work. Exactly, yeah. Uh, I got a question from Wild Oak here, and he asks if... Uh, do you think that Dado has enough costume variety? Uh, there's one costume that I've been petitioning for, and that's the... Uh, Basically just a street clothes daredevil. I think it would look nice if he was running around in some sort of, you know, lawyer or street clothes attire. That would look pretty cool. Otherwise, there there are some recommendations in the sub forums that I think could work, but he doesn't 
He doesn't really have the best costumes. They're all kind of iffy. I know people don't like the all red costume. Even the uh, Chase costume, you know, he only wore that for, I think, seven issues back yeah. in the 60s. So it's not a very popular one. I like the armored costume. I'm from that generation, but I know people, they got rid of it at the time because people didn't approve of it. Yeah, personally, I like I like the original ones, even the one for Dada. But I think it's really good. It brings back not my memories because I wasn't even born that day. But uh, yeah, you know, I recently actually I, I started back on some back issues of of Marvel and started with Spider Man, and then you see the first appearance of Dada and that's that costume, and that's like, yeah, those were those were the days. <laughs> those were the days. <laughs> yeah, he was a much different character at that time too. So. Yeah. Um, what do you think of the movie? Actually, the Daredevil movie. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you I, think that uh, that he's going to play Batman now? Uh, he's, he's just going to ruin both of my favorite characters. It's not fair. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, they do sometimes. You know, the movie could have been better. I, I think if it would have followed uh, the Frank Miller miniseries, just if it would have followed that, probably without Ben Affleck, it, it would have been much better. There was a five-issue miniseries that's one of the better ones that exists, and it it's a really good intro to Daredevil, and then it's just got a great story. Uh, Rodari asks if you have ever seen the director's cut of the movie. I have seen it. I, I'd need to watch it again. I, I think I was just super disappointed a couple times from seeing it, so I haven't given it another chance lately. Even the Electro movie, I don't know how many people have ever seen that. But I, I saw that in the theaters. And Wild Dog asks, uh, who, who do you th uh, do you think Data will stand out when the raids are introduced? Uh, currently, I'd say not. I think he needs more single tar target damage. You know, he needs to be closer to a Black Panther type build, and also just dodge characters need a lot of help because you can see when I get surrounded. I can only attack really in one direction unless I weep around like an idiot. Yeah. So he he needs some help. Yeah, and I'm just standing there with my Emma, and I'm like, I don't even get damage. <laughs> yeah. I don't even I, my gear is not even as good on Emma as well because I, as you see, my health is only almost it's not even seven k. So that's you know my Emma needs work, but uh, oh wow. Yeah, I have no I have no issues staying alive though. <laughs> yeah, I'm not familiar with her abilities. Uh, but I know she has that diamond skin ability that increases her defense, or is it a, uh, is it similar to like osmium skin on Colossus? Oh, I crashed again. That's not good. I'm gonna some technical difficulties here. I will make sure that that time it won't happen. <laughs> so um, I will continue to ask your questions. Connected. And I'm sorry I went I went back away again. I, I said already that uh, I'm going to um, remove that. So yeah, we were talking about Emma and w the way the diamond skin works is that if as long as I have diamond armor, I, I remove 50% of the incoming damage and I already have, currently I have 15.6k defense. So wow. the damage is already quite low that I get. Yeah, my, my Daredevil's defense is only 5,000. Have you ever tried going full defense on him? To see if you get uh, a, lo a lot of fire survivability out of that, or I, I think there's only like maybe a five percent defense and damage reduction, um, or a five percent difference in damage reduction. So it it doesn't make a lot of sense to try and stack that ability in comparison to health. You know, I can triple my my health pool, but I can't uh, you know take a third less damage. Okay, uh, we got more qu uh, more questions. One is from Emma Rost. What do you think about the next costume to Emma Frost, MX Phoenix Five? Um, I haven't seen that yet. Is it is it confirmed? I don't I don't know if you know. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen that one. Good, because I haven't used Emma just yet. She's one of the newer characters. I actually got Luke Cage before I got her. All right. I don't know the answer to the question, Emma Rost. I'm sorry. Um, Rodair asks, what style of ability would bring Dead of a closer to his character playstyle, should you feel? Um, I think you just answered that, but maybe you can 
go over that again. There's a well. There's actually a thread I created in the Daredevil sub forum 